broke up with my high school boyfriend and started dating a new guy, but I cheated on the new guy with the high school boyfriend. I kind of went back and forth between two guys, the two guys and the, my ex-boyfriend got mad and was like, I'm going to tell him. And I freaked out and I was like, please don't tell him. And I paid him $400 to keep quiet. Well, believe it or not, 70% of my patients who are cheating now are women. And yes, and the men say they don't see it coming. What happens is that the women get into this rut. They feel like they're not being appreciated, uh, not being taken out, and they start seeking affection elsewhere. According to the framework, today's society is a fair and equal one. Ignorance ingrained over a long period of time. They fabricated the wage gap, the glass ceiling, male privilege, and gender bias. The mistreatment of men by the legal system and media propaganda in recent years has made it acceptable to mock them. This is a criminal offense when committed against a female. The educational system neuters boys' anger by teaching them to be weak and feminine. After hundreds of years of establishing morals and families, marriage is bad now. If a woman's boyfriend cheats, she might reason, why can't she? It appears that love is scarce and contentedness within families is unusual. Some of the other pairs are arguing with one another over who should be trusted and what should be kept secret. Compatibility hazards, the dating scene is robust as well. Today's women are so careless that they have to justify their wrongdoing. Noticed? Unfaithful men are spoiled. He's a bad person if a woman cheats. I left the game 13 years ago due to double standards. I hate submissive women. Demanding women be submissive is bigoted and wrong. My ego isn't fragile. I don't want a housewife, worst kind of leech, or healthy adult living off me. Never. I also dislike him younger. Spooky. No woman meets my standards, even if I'm playing. They're not high. They can't even shed hypergamy, which is nurture, not nature. Meaning trying to run Force of Horizon 5 on a Pentium 2. I like some of my female co-workers more than others. I'm not looking for friends. I'm there to cook and light the house. I don't feel like playing anymore. Yikes. I need a hazard suit just to survive the toxicity. Agreed. Enjoy your independence. Although I do not share the same opinion on how women should be, Women should submit. I have high standards, too, and modern women don't meet them. I stopped dating, too. Email us to claim your $5. Guys, I'll choose one comment per video. Don't forget to comment. You may be our next winner. Resuming the video. Morality is almost extinct. Unfaithful men are evil. A woman cheats because she's not getting enough attention, feeling desired, or getting the carnal pleasure she wants. These tales will destroy fairy tales and social narratives with their rawness. Story one may be familiar. A man who has dated married women narrates the first story. Look, I love asking married women this question to understand how they think. One of the most interesting things I've found about wives who cheat is that they have to justify it. Men can see, eat, and cheat for no reason other than being horny and the woman being Mormon available. Women, however, need to justify their actions. Most women blame their man, not their carnal desires. According to my observations and conversations with cheating married women, this is why they cheat. This is why women cheat. If she doesn't respect you as a man, she can fuck another man without blinking. I've never met a respectable woman who cheated. The woman doesn't respect her husband for money, ambition, or both. She's more likely to lie if she thinks you're not ambitious or making enough money to support the family. Erotically unfulfilled. Kill the myth that men have stronger libidos than women. Most women hide their sexual desires to be the good girl next door. Today's society accepts women with high body counts. Men must be loyal forever. Once married, the woman gets frustrated if her partner doesn't match her testosterone levels or kinkiness. Neediness drives women to seek alternatives. Monotony. Some women enjoy screwing their men, even if they're doing everything right. Perhaps their men undervalue them. Perhaps the marriage has grown stale. Midlife crisis. Maybe she's bored with her routine. If a man compliments her and treats her like a woman instead of a wife or mother, it helps her jump, sometimes with disastrous results. A woman narrates story too. I didn't cheat. After a close call last year, I finally understand why people do or why I would. Knowing I was that tempted was upsetting. In retrospect, I'm glad it worked out. I have a better idea. Future situations to avoid. I mostly like the intense energy of connecting with someone new. Once you're married, you'll never feel that delirious first love again. I let it go because it's like making a new friend, except you want to rip their clothes off. The fact that they like you two is flattering. I hadn't seen my husband in a month. It was also tempting because he would never find out in a foreign country. This man was also stunning. 
In a tropical beach country, wearing anything but a swimsuit was ridiculous. We cooked, walked, and talked late into the night for a week. I set rules for myself throughout. Mention the husband daily without touching. No drinking or dirty jokes, don't touch him ever. Rules made it okay. I knew the boundary to cross. Videos until one night. He tucked his hand between my knees and my whole body cooled and warmed simultaneously. For some of the longest, most agonizing seconds of my life. Nothing. He then smiled and placed his hand in his lap. He apologized, and I left the next day. I never thought I'd cheat. I now consider myself one drink in a compromising situation from the possibility. It's uncomfortable. But hopefully, it'll help me make safer decisions. The final confession is a woman's telling answer to the question. Why do so many good guy women cheat? This may be the craziest. Why do so many good guy women cheat? They believe the lie that they can have their cake and eat it too. To defeminism, subliminal peer pressure, entanglement, and modern society's low morals, they think they can get away with it for a cheap thrill, and you'll take them back, thinking you'll never find someone better. You can find someone better than your awful wives. These cheaters see you as their landlord, while hooking up with losers who will never make them feel wanted and validated. You can be the most handsome and successful man. Selfish and entitled to cheaters, they want more. They're just playing. Nobody is sick. But your girlfriends are terrible. Are you divorced? Otherwise, file the paperwork. Remember, staying with someone who devalues you is optional. You're all worth more. I'm addressing both genders. These three confessions explain men's disillusionment with women. Dating a good woman is nearly impossible. They're brainwashed by lust. They crave attention and love. To help us, please watch this video. Please subscribe and send this video to anybody you think will benefit from it the most.